Up next, the Jazz taking on the Thunder. For the Jazz, losing sight of their identity over the last 10 games, they've won only two of them. Tonight, they're hoping to get back to what they do well with a win. Thunder, Jazz, up next on 2K Sports. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Never caught off, not one day. But I'm still on my way. What better for a Tuesday evening than a little NBA action on 2K Sports? And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for John Collins. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. And the Oklahoma City starting five. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Then there's Lou Dort, then it's Josh Giddy. And for Utah, Collins and Kessler playing up front. Sexton runs point with Clarkson at the two. And it's Abaji in at the three. Teams are in the thick of it now, Grant. More than half of the regular season is behind us. Yeah, in the thick of it is right. Teams are, are getting fatigued right now. This is the point of the year where the teams with the most depth separate themselves from the pack. And it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Sexton with it. Collins a screen. Sexton passes to Clarkson. No good on the triple. And Williams has got the ball here for OKC. Kitty with a screen on Sexton. Giddy against Clarkson. From about 19, Albaji with a rebound. Outside Sexton. Pass to Abaji. Now here's Collins. Clock at six. Kessler passes to Sexton. Here's Collins. The Thunder with the rebound. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. And guys, it really was a thrilling duel all the way to the end. <laughs> you hated to see anyone walk away the loser. Yeah, I bet it was pretty quiet in that locker room after that game. When it hit overtime, it was a matter of which team had more energy left. And seemingly, it wasn't them. Pass to Abaji with the 10-footer. First shot won't go. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And here's Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Clarkson. Giddy with it, and Kessler picks him up defensively. And it's Giddy missing. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. Misses the three. The Jazz have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Here's Sexton. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Here's Clarkson, and Collins with the slam. Collins working well off the ball and cutting to the hoop. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Dort outside. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Inside, the kick out to Williams. Holmgren with a screen on Collins. Four on the clock. 
Let's it go from deep. And Holmgren with the basket on the assist from Williams. Holmgren's got five points. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch. Pass to Kessler. Here's Abaji. And here's Collins. Williams defending. Let's it go from 11. And that one drops for him. Thunder with a lead. He's covered by Clarkson. Up top, Holmgren. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Check. Holmgren. At the line for one. Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. Well, it's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, B.A. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. Outside, Williams. Holmgren with a screen on Collins. Williams from long range. Oh, the Thunder, another three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Clarkson with the ball. To the inside. Pass to Abaji. Six on the shot clock. For three, Collins. Pure from three-point range. Collins has got seven points. Clarkson against Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Right at the free throw line. It's deflected. Now here's Sexton. He's guarded closely. Clarkson passes to Kessler. And here's Sexton. Tries the nine-footer, and the bucket is good. The closer Sexton gets to the basket, the more dangerous he can become, and the defense has got to recognize that. Outside, Williams. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Sexton looking around. Pass to Collins. Clarkson outside. Collins with a screen on Dort. Back to Collins. Clarkson outside. Over Dort. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Door to screen on Collins. Here's Williams. Lays it up and banks it in. Williams has got his second basket of the game. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Sexton passes to Kessler. Pass to Clarkson. Outside Sexton. Kessler a screen. Sexton with it. Now guarded by Holmgren. Sexton, that's good. Again, more and more of these pick and rolls help Sexton settle into the pace of play. Here's Holmgren. Tipped. Now Clarkson. Still without a bucket. Kessler a screen. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Count that one. Well, a combo guard who can do a lot of things decently well. Jordan Clarkson, solid at dishing that rock. 
the Thunder making a change here. Kessler. What's up? Oklahoma City, they've gone 6 of 11 so far. Oladipo outside. The kick out to Williams. Five on the clock. Deflects the pass. And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. Over the last month, these rookies have been cleaning the glass. Second, Chad Holmgren. Hey, the way he's been aggressively attacking the boards, you have to think he's earned the respect of his teammates. Uh -oh. Oklahoma City has gone two for three from outside the arc. Oladipo, the pass to Holmgren. Counted. Now five for seven. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Left side, Horton Tucker. Here's Kessler. Great D that time from Holmgren. The Thunder have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Now here's Oladipo. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Pass to Joe. Shot clock at six. Williams from long range. Back to Williams. Second chance shot. And they pick up two. And it's a five-point Oklahoma City lead. No doubt that Victor Oladipo is a guy that this franchise is leaning on, so showing some leadership here. Kessler with it. He's covered by Holmgren. Kessler up top. He's coming off a 10-point game against Milwaukee. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Pass to Joe. Now here's Holmgren. And here's Oladipo. Screen by Holmgren. Fires for three. The shot by Oladipo. No good. Utah's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside Horton Tucker. Fires the three. Knocks down the triple. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open in that court awareness. He was able to get it to him. Outside, Williams. Pass to Joe. For three, Oladipo. The rebound by the Jazz. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Outside Sexton. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Sexton. The 11-footer. That one rolls around and rims out. Here's Joe. The ball's knocked loose. With one on the clock. The shot no good. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Thunder out in front. They lead by two. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And for the Thunder guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And you don't see that 
all that often getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. You got to respect the game plan. Here's Oladipo. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. Kenrich Williams is out there with Alexei Pokashevsky. Then there's Victor Oladipo. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Joe in at the three. Now here's Oladipo. Open and close, and he drops it in. Oladipo's gotten his second bucket on the night. Uh, Oladipo executed that pick and roll well. Remarkable at scoring whenever he gets room to shoot off the screen. Outside Horton Tucker. Olenek with a screen on Oladipo. Horton Tucker with it. Picked up by Pokashevsky. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And last season, we saw an unprecedented offensive explosion around the league, Brent. Is that the new normal, you think? I'm not sure, B.A. It's, it's been exciting to watch. The revolution has been televised over the last five years, and the skill level is at an all-time high. The usage rate for star players keeps seeming to go up and up and up, but teams are surrounding their stars with shooters and leaning into the three-point line, and it's been fun to watch. Here's Oladipo. Pass to Giddy. Doesn't go for him. Ooh, great D that time from Dunn. And the basket by Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got eight. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Outside Giddy. Pass to Oladipo. And checking out some numbers for Chet Holmgren. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. And he knocks down the first one. Oladipo drops them both. Utah trailing here. Outside Horton Tucker. Olenek with a screen on Oladipo from 11 feet away. The bank shot, no good. And Kitty has got the ball here for OKC. The last time they came together was in Salt Lake City, where they fell to the Jazz. Yeah, last time against this team, they couldn't stay out of foul trouble, and that really hampered them. And yeah, they had a few important guys sitting there on the bench at a time when they really could have used them on the floor. They have to play much more in control here tonight. Collins, he's checked in for Utah. Abaji comes in for Dunn. It's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Now here's Clarkson. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Horton Tucker. It's hauled in by Pokashevsky. The Thunder have got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Oladipo. And here's Pokashevsky. the three ball to go and the thunder lead by seven and, and giddy with a little giddy up on that pass now here's horton tucker tight defense on him pass to clarkson 
Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, no good! Unable to win this run. Some players just have an innate knack for scoring the ball, Grant. Jordan Clarkson, definitely one of them. They're absolutely B.A. That jump shot has to be honored. And because of that, he's able to get inside and create for himself and others. And how about a look at the top shot blocking teams in the NBA this season? Fourth, the Jazz. They're quick to help each other, and they have some tremendous athletes with a nose for the ball. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Thunder. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. That free throw misses. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. He ends up missing both free throws. And for Utah, they're shooting about 43% on this one. Horton Tucker with it. Give him eight points now. The teardrop. And that one's good. Clarkson. Clarkson's got his first two points of the night. Such a, such a tough shot to master there. Clarkson feeling more and more comfortable, it looks like, with that floater. Pass to Oladipo. Outside, Williams. Outside, Giddy. From the arc. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. The Jazz have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Here's Horton Tucker. The three. It's hauled in by Pokashevsky. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Now here's Oladipo. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. Left side, Williams. Six to shoot. Tipped. And Pokashevsky gets it to go. His inside game is improving since he came into the league, and Poku does have some good footwork in the paint. And the Jazz call time here. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. He's checked in for Oklahoma City. Dort comes in for Oladipo. And so it's Utah with it. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Collins. Here's Abaji. Now Clarkson. 
Let's it go from 11. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got eight rebounds in the game. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Gordon Tucker. And that one goes. Four for seven for him so far. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Dort outside. Three-pointer. Kessler with a rebound. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Kessler. Now here's Clarkson. The three! And it's Kitty with a rebound. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. The Thunder with another miss. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Abaji, the pass to Horton Tucker. Pass to Kessler. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Sexton's checked in. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Joe comes in for Giddy. To the left side wing. Outside Horton Tucker. And stolen by Holmgren. It's a three on three fast break. Here's Williams. Rebounded by the Jazz. Kessler's got five rebounds in the game. Outside Horton Tucker. Here's Collins. Dort grabs the miss. Here are the Thunder with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Pass to Holmgren. Clock at six. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Dort for three. Buries it from three. Dort's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. They're shooting nearly 50% from beyond the arc, and their confidence is growing. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, Lori Markinen has become the go-to scorer for the Jazz. Coach Will Hardy said, quote, it's not easy going from being a role player to being the guy. There's an emotional part of being counted on like this, and he's handled it very well. To have the evolution that he has had is something that he should be very, very proud of. Brian? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Allie. Good stuff there. Here's Joe. Yet to see a basket. To the paint. It's stolen. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Sexton up top. Williams defending. Collins a screen. Just four to shoot. Here's Sexton. Drilled from 11 feet out. Sexton's got his third bucket of the night. Sexton looking good from that spot on the floor. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 16-6 run. And he lobs it up top. Stolen by Collins. With the drive. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Clarkson's checked in for Utah. Josh Giddy's checked in for Oklahoma City. Yeah. 
And that's good as he hits both shots. There's a minute 47 left in the second period. Outside, Williams, down low. Can't cash it in from close range. And so it's Sexton who brings up the ball for the Utah Jazz. They trail by seven. Looking ahead to their next one. Playing at Phoenix. They'll match up against the Suns. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why, B.A., he's got this low center of gravity, he gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. And the Thunder in possession here. The Jazz making their last shot. Checked by Sexton. Holmgren with a screen on Sexton. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Kessler a screen. Now here's Sexton, guarded closely. Clarkson outside. Just five on the clock. Puts up a three. He buries it from three. Clarkson's got five. I'd like to see more of that from Clarkson. Just get more consistent from the three-point line. Steps up and knocks that one down. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Giddy against Clarkson. Outside Giddy. Here's the pick. To the wing on the left. Here's Holmgren. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Hello folks, the first half is in the books and we've got a lead on the scoreboard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Their long range game is dialed in and that's despite the defense best efforts. It's pretty impressive, even by today's standards. Yeah, hard to beat a team that's hitting a high volume of threes, that's for sure. And the next order of business, seeing which players are in the running for a spot in this season's dunk contest. I like that we're finally getting into it. There's been a lot of talk. Now let's get to the action. Man, plenty of anticipation around the dunk contest every year. The fans love it. I love it. So let's go. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. If you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Sexton runs point with Clarkson at the two. Collins and Kessler playing up front. And it's Abaji in a small forward. That's the group for Utah right now. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Williams taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good.
So he picks up just one from the line that time. Utah trailing here. Right side, Sexton. Rejected by Holmgren. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. Now here's Collins. Clarkson for three. Dort grabs the miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. And the basket is good. Give him eight. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Utah shooting just 42% so far in the game. Sexton passes to Abaji. They set a pick. And here's Sexton. Pass to Collins. Here's Kessler. Six on the shot clock. Up top, Collins. Here's Clarkson. And another miss by Utah. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that to you. Dort. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Dort's got seven points in the game. And just not allowing the close defender to get in his way as Dort plays intense there. Timeout called. The Jazz. Started. February. Let's see how things look out west. You look at the Jazz. So far, this hasn't been the season they were hoping for. And time is of the essence. And of course, the Thunder, only a few spots below. Just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Clarkson against Giddy. Clarkson outside. Kessler a screen. Five to shoot. Tries to break his ice. That one's good for two. Clarkson's got seven points in the game. Put the first three misses behind them and finally ended their third quarter drought. Door outside. To the inside. Lugans Dort continues to find ways to impress you and expand his offensive game, but he knows he's coming to the league as a defender and he takes a tremendous amount of pride in it. Lugans Dort at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And Dort hits them both. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. 
Outside Sexton. Collins with a screen on Giddy. Clarkson for three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. The shot from 20 feet out. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. He's got 14. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. And it's Clarkson missing. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Now here's Williams. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. Here's Holmgren. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Now Sexton. He's got six. And there's the screen. Kessler passes to Sexton. Now here's Collins. Williams defending. The fader. Oh, and it's Collins. That time on the assist by Sexton. Collins has got 11. Defense all over Collins, but he keeps his composure and just takes his rhythm shot. Timeout called. The Thunder. Once again, everyone, here are Utah Now that we have an opportunity, let's check out the top scoring rookies to date. Third is Chad Holmgren. And it's always hard to predict how easily young players will adapt to the league. But on the offensive end, he's really hit the ground running. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Holmgren with a screen on Sexton. Pass to Holmgren. That shot off. Good D by Kessler. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Williams against Collins. Here's Abaji. Hits the trifecta. Abaji's got five points. Big man John Collins seeing the court that time. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. At one point, they led by 16. Holmgren with a screen on Collins. Here's Williams. Cashes it in from 11 feet. Williams has gotten his third basket of the night. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Collins with a screen on Giddy. Clarkson passes to Collins. That's basket number six in eight tries. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Giddy against Clarkson. Giddy passes to Holmgren. Another shot. And another shot. And he lays it in. Holmgren's got six in the quarter. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. 
A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, the Utah Jazz are exceeding expectations since they reset their roster last season. Kelly Olynyk said, we can definitely get better still. We have a great group of high character guys. We love competing next to each other. We have a lot of room to grow, and we just have to work on getting better collectively. Brian? That seems like the rebuild is going well. Thanks, Allie. William's shot is good. The Jazz have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Collins. Here's Abaji. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. A nice ball rotation there by Collins, sharing the rock from the front court. The Thunder have gone seven of ten here in the second half. Holmgren with it. Holmgren with a screen on Sexton. Back to Holmgren. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. The Jazz have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Pass to Kessler. Now Sexton. Back to Clarkson. Shot clock at six. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Looking to get back on track. And the Jazz tack on two more. The Thunder have gotten eight of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Grant. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do. To be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence to be a Here's Abaji. Give him eight points now. Outside Sexton. Pass to Kessler. Clarkson outside. Over Giddy. And it's Clarkson missing. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Williams against Sexton. Now here's Holmgren. The three. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And Utah calls time here. Oh, my. Their coach does not look happy, and I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Clarkson. Bokashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. Joe comes in for Giddy. Here's Horton Tucker. Ten points for him. Defense, 
Collins outside. Clock at six. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. And Williams has got the ball here for OKC. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. That'll be the second of two games on the road. And Williams punches it home. Well, Oladipo playing a couple years at point guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability there. Now here's Horton Tucker, a valuable part of their offense, averaging a little more than 16 a game. Pass to Olenek. It's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Thunder. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. And there's another thing going on right now for them that has to get their confidence up, and that's the three ball. I mean, it's been falling for them, and they're locked in, and with that outside shot going, that's a big difference maker. We've got 155 left in the third. Now here's Oladipo, defended by Horton Tucker. Williams' shot is good. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Utah has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Outside Horton Tucker. Pass to Sexton. 125 left in the third quarter. Back to Horton Tucker. Shot clock at 5. Here's Kessler. Here he goes. And he banks in the layup. Kessler's got five. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Williams on the wing. Ten points for him. Here's Pokashevsky. And he can't get that one. Oh, Lenick with some nice D. Here's Hendricks. Williams defending. Outside Horton Tucker. Pass to Hendricks. Over Williams. Offensive board. Screen by Olenek. Here's Sexton. And it's Utah scoring again. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. The floater, and it's Williams with the bucket inside. He's got 12. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Sexton. He's got 10. And so it's Chad Holmgren making things happen for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Continued to rack up points in that quarter. His total for the night to 23. Back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Utah has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. They've got Victor Oladipo. 
Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Kenrich Williams. Then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Joe in at the three, the small forward. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Here's done. The foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. At the line for two, Chris Dunn. That one's off. And he sinks the second. And here's Oladipo. Rebounded by the Jazz. Horton Tucker with it. Six on the shot clock. Here's Olenek. Deflected! And Poku really outsmarting the opposition that time defensively in the right spot. Outside, Williams. Back to Giddy. And it's good. Two points. And the Thunder lead by 15. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Pass to Hendricks. To the paint. The shot by Olenek, no good. Oklahoma City has gotten 7 of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Oladipo with the ball. Now Horton Tucker defending. Oladipo, a guy who can live at the line with his power and explosiveness around the glass. At the line for the Thunder, Victor Oladipo. Two shots. Shooting two. And he makes a first. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved. Hitting in the low 80s now. And so he makes both from the line. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. Utah has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Hendricks. Clarkson outside. The jump hook. No good off the back of the rim. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. you got to play tough, physical defense. Now here's Oladipo. Here's Joe. He's covered by Clarkson. And here's Oladipo. Pass to Pokashevsky. Here's Joe. For three, Oladipo. The Thunder with another miss. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Here's Clarkson. The three is up. Gets the three to fall. Trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Now here's Williams. Oh, oh. 
Oladipo outside. From deep three-point land. Clarkson grabs a miss. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Pass to Dunn. Over Oladipo. The shot by Dunn, no good. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Joe, the pass to Oladipo. Takes a three. On target from range. And the Thunder lead by 17. Oladipo finding his range now. Clarkson outside. Fires from 14. And again, it's Utah. And you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. Timeout, timeout, timeout. called. The Thunder. Started. going with almost an entire new group here. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break, and they told the team, let's keep doing what we're doing. We're up. Do not forget that. They told their team to just relax, to have fun, and to finish this one out. We'll see if they do, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. And here are the Thunder now. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Dort outside. Just five to shoot. Inside. Here's Holmgren. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Holmgren's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And this is what Coach wants to see from Holmgren. I'll work in the defense to get a second chance look. Now here's Sexton. Not a lot of room. And a miss layup for Oklahoma City. They've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Clarkson against Giddy. Williams, a screen on Clarkson. Giddy passes to Williams. It's intercepted! To the middle. Here's Collins. And Collins with the slam. Yeah, John Collins in a nice ladder here. Versatile, explosive, high energy, and doing the job scoring it. To the inside. Here's Holmgren. Clarkson. Here's Clarkson. Pass to Sexton. Clarkson outside. Now Kessler. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. At the line for Utah. Kessler. One shot.
Oklahoma City's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Holmgren with a screen on Clarkson. Checked by Sexton. Back to Giddy. Four on the clock. Dort for three. The Thunder with another miss. Utah's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Babaji pass to Sexton. Pass to Kessler. Out of bounds. The Thunder will take it. Oklahoma City ball. And Kitty has got the ball here for OKC. 17 points was their biggest margin. Williams against Collins. Here's Holmgren. Count it. Holmgren's got 15 points in just the second half. And we're seeing the full potential of Holmgren. Any questions about whether he's NBA ready are being answered right here tonight. Kessler passes to Collins. Check Holmgren. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for Utah. John Collins. Two shots. Two shots. That's on the first. And the first one at the line is good. Collins has such concentration when he's out on the floor, and it can help really steady a basketball team. And both free throws good for Collins. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Pass to Dort. Outside Giddy. Six to shoot. From deep three-point land. Sexton grabs the board. Sexton's got four rebounds now. Clarkson with the ball. Pass to Kessler. Here's Collins. Now Clarkson. Giddy defends. From deep. And it's Clarkson missing. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Screen by Holmgren. Here's Giddy. Sexton grabs the board. Sexton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. And another miss by Utah. Oklahoma City's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Now here's Giddy, tightly guarded. Looking to end this cold spell. Yeah, that one's good. Now Giddy has the ability from that area to become a scorer. And Utah time calls out, time, time here. Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one. They gotta be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down.
Oklahoma City on D. Sexton finds Collins. Clarkson against Giddy. Clarkson passes to Kessler. Holmgren with the block. Holmgren, great length. That works for him all over the floor. Here's Williams. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Giddy. Giddy's got three assists tonight. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Now here's Kessler. Pass to Collins. The Thunder pull it in. Williams has got a six rebound on the night. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Thunder. All their efforts on the boards ended up paying off. And just two tough rebounding teams, but they gave the extra effort and were rewarded for it. And for the year, this will give them win number 17. And with this victory, they have an edge in the season series at two games to one, with one more game to follow against this team. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Chet Holmgren. And this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. There's 45 seconds left in the final quarter. It's Holmgren, high post. Five on the clock. Check by Sexton. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. 19 seconds left to play in the fourth. Williams against Collins. Over Williams. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. That's the guy you want with the ball inside as Collins' ability to rise up will produce some points. And so Oklahoma City takes this one, and by a big margin. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory. They controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Chad Holmgren.